Welcome. Well, hello there. This is I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger-looking good dating sim. So real quick, I'm going to bring this down a bit so it doesn't pick up on the mic. Oh my god. Alright, uh, so this game came out today. Um, it's oh published god. by KFC themselves. Oh my god! <laughs> I love you, Colonel Sanders! Um, this I'm assuming this is just pure promotion for KFC, and it's working. Yeah, I really want KFC. Alright, we're going to... Should we lemons? No. No. What? What's our mascot name? White. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with this. All right. We are white lemons. Uh, first name white, last name lemons. Is that the exact same biscuit and nugget in a biscuit? I don't think it is. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack that clock. <laughs> up and out. <laughs> <laughs> Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. So, should, uh, we, should we take it seriously or allow ourselves to daydream? Allow ourselves to daydream. Alright, we're daydreaming. It's here, finally. Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So many students to meet. Are we uh, the teacher? Are we Colonel Sanders? Are we? I don't think we're Colonel no, Sanders. Because actually... I love you, Colonel Sanders. Yeah. And there are rivals. Also, they missed a good pun there. It could have been meat as an M-E-A-T, not M-E-E-T. No. I think it's good that they didn't go for that. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and <laughs> burst out the door. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. That's a <laughs> mouthful of a name. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Dibs. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Oh, I call nice. Colonel Sanders. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, White Lemons! Are you excited for the first, er, the first day of the rest of our lives? Okay, first of all, bring down the volume just a tad. <laughs> <laughs> Should we both of us at the same time? <laughs> Actually, Actually, I'm... I'm... <laughs> because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's, What's the... the... <gasps> it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever, Ever since, since we, we were, were little babies, babies playing, playing, playing together, together and you rescued, and you rescued me, from me from that quicksand quick box, box. It's, it's been, been clear to me that, that you're the most loving, caring person I know. know. You're, you're going, going to, to do, do great. But I'm with the university... That's uh, not... But <laughs> with, sorry, I can't see it that well. But with the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. So that's the gimmick of the game. We have three days to seduce Colonel Sanders. This is just Majora's Mask. It is, yes. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Uh, Let's pep talk her. Yeah. Remember, Remember last, last month, month when, when we, we saw, saw that, that fortune, fortune teller, teller and, and had our tarot, tarot cards read? read? Is it tarot or taro? Tarot. Tarot. I forgot the word. The lady with the mask <laughs> who gave me nightmares, I've been trying to forget. It is Majora's mask. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I know she, she looked, looked spooky, spooky but, but she, she was, was so sweet. sweet. And she, and told, she told you that you, you were destined, destined for great, great things. things. This is awful. We shouldn't do but we'll do it. <laughs> Okay, I'll be ready. White Lemon. I'll be Mr. White, or Mr. Lemons. Remember that card with the fancy-looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome... Wait, it's a girl, isn't it? Because... Oh, yeah. 
Remember that card with the fancy looking tower <laughs> and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. <laughs> and I'm sure you will soon. That, that was a good voice crack. In no time we'll be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. That was a really good noise after that. <laughs> As you talk to Miriam, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. <laughs> can you believe I cut them myself? You can, you can definitely, definitely believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, can, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley. Your arch rival. She's totally. Can I do her voice? I want to do her yeah, voice. Yeah, go ahead. She's totally evil, but she can't help but be filled with jealousy. Uh, she can get anything she wants, and she knows it. She looks like Marceline. Hello, Ashley. Um. Hmm. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> <laughs> you, you leave white lemon shins alone. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're perfectly oh uh, you can't stand ashley even her name is annoying you know for a fact that it's actually ashley but she had to add, a, add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone i love this so much <laughs> if anyone here knows what perfect chins look like it's us we're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us <laughs> Across the quad, you see, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man. Has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight so you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Dibs. Ahem, <clears throat> Van Van. Alright, you gotta do this one. Uh, okay, hold on. Um... You rang rang? No, it's gotta be like, oh, okay. like, a, like a really... You know what I'm talking about, right? I, I do. Yeah. You rang, rang. <laughs> that's my best I've got. All right, that's, that works. He looks very much like Dio, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you've never been sure that what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend a series. That's such a mouthful of a name. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe they'd hire us on. Uh, uh, or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. That's not what the voice I was expecting, but you know what? That works. <laughs> With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Pa oh, should I do this? Yeah, you should. <laughs> Oopsie. I think it's broken. I hate this. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! <laughs> okay, never mind. This is me. <laughs> this is definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean thank you. My name's Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. <laughs> He's old. I like, I like your hand <laughs> movements. He's old. Are you going to pull out your brick of cheese? I forgot that I had it. <laughs> it's just lingering in my pocket. <laughs> lingering. Oh, that's a perfect word. Could someone like this also be a student of this school? He must be one heck of a <laughs> chef. <laughs> what? <laughs> the cheese fell out of the bag. It was just a chunk of cheese in my pocket. Uh, he must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag, name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Good luck getting the cheese out of those pants. Giants. Hi, Pop. I'm White Lemons. So... Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. 
Well, hold up. Uh, there's... There's cheese. There's all decent... Okay, whatever. It'll uh, be fine. It's just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. I'm really glad I did this narrator voice. It fits perfectly. <laughs> you stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking <laughs> pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of class. Adorable! <laughs> Do you want to do this one or do you want me to do this one? I don't really care. If you want me to do it, I'll do it. Do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? I don't care. Are you going to do Colonel Sanders? I am going to do Colonel Sanders. Right. I don't want you to do too many voices. Yeah, that's that's my problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who is this un Who is this un unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? I didn't I don't know why she's all of a sudden British, but we'll roll with it. <laughs> You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Uh, you have to say the entire name. It is, I forgot actually. Some something <laughs> culinary. Chicken no, State. something culinary school. At something learning. Whatever, it's fine. Rest your dog. I may be fluffy, but still demand respect. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Wait a sec. Hmm. Isn't the narrator White Lemons? Nah. Well, yeah, but nah. Okay. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. <laughs> I'm chilly. Someone <laughs> close the window. Hand motions are the best part of this. And then he walks in. He's beautiful. He actually. Is. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and this remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone would be so handsome? Time stands still. Should we? Should it be Colonel Sanders narrating it? <laughs> yes. Actually, no. That doesn't make sense. No. That's the point, Anthony. Yeah. This is a dating simulator where you date Colonel Sanders. Tell me that it makes <laughs> sense. Uh. Also, a little bit closer. Uh, there yeah. Go. Okay. It's him. It's. <gasps> Harlan. Does Colonel Sanders have an established voice? Finger licking. No. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> I'm looking this up real quick. Down by the by, down Cole by the by. Sanders. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's he was a real guy. Yeah, he was. Okay. <laughs> Howdy, folks! It's me, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit higher, but it works. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles, sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. He's also a little bit British, which I didn't mean to do, but it works. A hushed murmur uh, rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is smeltering. What does sweltering mean? I said sweltering. I said sweltering. It's, um, hot. Oh. It's like sweating. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this one over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should open the window back up before our faucet pit your faucet pits melt into a puddle and evaporates entirely. <laughs> oh, I changed this one. That works so much better. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. Ah! You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Besides, when white lemon <laughs> <laughs> sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at the shimmer. <laughs> oh. Colonel Sanders. Beautiful angel that he is stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. 
Boy, howdy. <laughs> this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. <laughs> that, that voice works better. Yeah. <laughs> Please use my handkerchief. You freeze up. <laughs> Colonel Sanders is talking oh to you. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. About how sweaty you look? You're mm. completely mortified. Mortified. <laughs> this can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Should we take the handkerchief? I think that's a nice thing to do. It's a nice thing to do, but we want to play hard to get. I think we should take the handkerchief, but then, like, like, thanks, you know? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You stretch out your hands, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. <laughs> it, has, it has a supernatural... No, I thought... It, it has this natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Professor Dog steps in in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Little Wang University Cupcake School, Academy for Learning, the greatest academy ever in the world, I lied. The worst players in culinary relations past, present, and future. Many challenges we there will be tears. Will their blood be uh, there might even be really adorable tiny food. I'm gonna get like a whiplash <laughs> doing this voice. God dang. And when it's all said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and complete and the broom. The broom at cooking arena. Okay. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing oh. speech. Oh, why did I think that changed? <laughs> oh, gosh. Can we do a Flint Lockwood voice? <laughs> Can either of us do a good impression of Flint Lockwood? I... No, wait, no, I got a good voice. Okay. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. <laughs> you have to say baloney before doing that voice. I don't have to. I just like doing it. Quiet! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to shake your head. It's like, you know. Late to class is bad enough. But interrupting my monologue, you're on the fast track, here, young man. Are you even in the right place? Baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school. I, with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blink. Everyone stares at him blinkly. Does no one remember me? I'm <sighs> expelled. If you utter one more word before I finish, let me listen to you, students. That darkness is unacceptable. <laughs> My dad said be quieter. Yeah. So, even Clark is here on time. Clank is here on time. Rolling halfway across town and it's time you healed. You turn to see the student sprinkles is ref referencing appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Where? The class bursts into laughter. Says you. <laughs> oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Can I, can I change his voice? <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> you do just lucky based on what I'm picking up here. You definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. I like that voice crack. <clears throat> You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Um We gotta do chicken snack, right? Like, th there's no question here. Yeah. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Anthony just inhaled. <laughs> um, where am I? 
Wait, where'd my phone go? His favorite. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star studente. The furry professor, the professor okay. immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick okay. with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. Did you see where I put my phone? Uh... Oh, here it is. Oh. <laughs> As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, the left standing at the front of the room, only two options remain. Hey. Oh. Oh, that's my hand. <laughs> hey, white lemons! There's a seat over here! I forgot. I forgot what it was. <laughs> it seems that no one has claimed... No. Oh boy, howdy. <laughs> it seems no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Should we, should we be hard to get? Two options, but what will you choose? We gotta play hard to get. Alright. <clears throat> you move to take your seat by Miriam. See, this is just showing loyalty. Mm -hmm. Big brain time. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you near me to support me through this class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders? He has such a... Is that majestic or Ma magnetic, magnetic personality? And there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. I never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him late, later in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime. <laughs> so you say, now that Miriam mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so darn dreamy. As soon as you settle in your seat, the professor makes an announcement. <clears throat> no. Thank you. Oh, that's not as worse. Thank you, Chris. It's time for a pop quiz. I'm Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. It's... Wait. I forgot his voice. Oh, well. Yay. A quiz about me. <laughs> that works. That's oh, also yeah. you. <laughs> oh, incredibly, this incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for a life at culinary school. Danny does that too on Game Grumps. He'll just, like, <laughs> just not read. <laughs> Keep your knives sharp and focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If, if, a train a, right. if train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before you <laughs> That's right. Well, what would you say? Uh, extremely. I mean, look at you, Pop. Oh. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Is it, would, would it be feather? Because there's... Yeah. I think yeah. it's night vision goggles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? right. What's the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A spork. Yes. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Hmm. Hmm. Anything? Mm, I think a pancake. Honestly. It's not camel meat. Cause... It's definitely not camel meat. But I think I think it's pancake. I think we should cook camel meat. I don't think we should. I'm joking, don't do that. Pancake or anything? Yeah, th this pancake? is hard to say. You choose. My bets are on pancake. My oh. bets are on the opposite one. That That's wrong. Sprinkle's, sprinkles a good boy? A good boy. Hmm. Best boy or yes? I think I think we need to go with best boy. Yeah, best boy. That's, that's right. right. Oh, wait. Your total score is 4 out of 5. Oh, you have to click the thing. <laughs> Only one wrong, not too shabby. You might just do all right, kid. Shouldn't this be the dog talking? It should be, but it's not. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He nods with approval. I'm gonna have your... Oh, wait, no. Just do it really deep, boy. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Okay, maybe keep it high. It's time for lunch. No, I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, well. It's Ooh. time for lunch. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 
Well, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Mm. Do you smell that? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do you smell that? It must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? I love his finger placement. Yeah. Just... Is it about lunch? Is that a ring on his finger? Or is that just a weird crease? That's a weird crease on his thumb. That's like where the nail should be, but there's no, no nail. No, that. Wait, what the heck? That's the index finger. What, what, what is that? It looks like it got chopped up. No, so I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. That's, I went <laughs> British again. Every, everyone cheers. But I... Shh. <laughs> lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. Howdy, y'all. In honor of the new semester... That's not... Howdy, y'all. In order of the new semester... In honor of the new semester... I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. I I can't do a western <laughs> accent. That must be the smell I smelled! In... How do you... Indeed. No, no, wait. Um, I used to be do able to do a really good western accent. Um, Howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all. Scott here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'll be... Wait. Indeed, that smell... Like, dang it. <laughs> you hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Yeah, they should are. I, should I do that British accent for the colonel? Because he's a, he's a sexy colonel, right? Yes. So I'm going to do that, that British voice. Is this... Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to crispy golden finish. The aroma envelop envelops you. You begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept! <laughs> <laughs> Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. That's a lot of herbs. Is one of them marijuana? No. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. That's all I'll say about that. What do you think? Oh, and I forgot his voice. What do you think you we want with your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pisha! <laughs> nah, my dude, nah. I'm just, uh, drafting the last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Got him. <laughs> he looks nervously to see anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see... What zinger Ashley is prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just, like, writing my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. <laughs> that Ashley? thigh, hold on, we're gonna talk ooh, about that. Ooh. Okay, that's Ashley's enough. probably best girl, not gonna lie. Yeah, well... Miriam isn't this that... This guy... <laughs> Von Von over here. Von Von is amazing. I Von Von is hair. best girl. I just realized his hair is a star. How have you not noticed that? That's like his main defining feature. Um, You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she sides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. He wants them all to herself. So, did Colonel Sanders, like, was he born with white hair? Is that what's going down here? <laughs> Cause he's like twenty in this, right? Cause yeah. they're they're at college. Oh please! I like how she has chicken cutouts on <laughs> on her legs. Oh my god! Is that the design of her thigh highs? Yes. Oh, I need to. Well, Von Von, the Man Man. If you don't want any, I'll take his. 
Whoa, hold on. I mean, I, I guess I'll try it. Um. <laughs> he takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please follow my classmates. Dig in. You take one of his pieces of fried chicken out of, his, out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. <laughs> Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you into another dimension. Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Uh. Try to identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart or swim toward the light. I think we should identify or middle option. I think we should do the towel and... Identify the flavors and do what he said he wasn't going to. Or do this. I do that, yeah, the middle one. Okay. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love for a man... Or flavor, are they the same? <laughs> <laughs> After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Yo, I can't even get one-on-one -on -one time with Jimmy Neutron, so... Like, Jimmy Neutron or Jimmy Neutron? Jimmy Neutron. I don't mean Jimmy Neutron, Jimmy Neutron. I mean Jimmy Neutron, Jimmy Neutron. I, I see what you mean, Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Colonel Sanders smile, smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. <laughs> Colonel, I wondered if I could tr talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. That was my narrator voice. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gasp was so <laughs> that was the perfect noise. <laughs> I really hope this music is picking up. Hold on, let me check. Uh, I don't think it is. Hold on, I'm ready. No. Hold on. What the heck? Why is my desktop audio not picking up? Oh, because... I don't know why. Hold on. I can fix this. Mm -hmm. It's going through, um... It's going through this, not this. Oh, okay. That makes right. sense. Desktop audio. Oh. I just broke my... Oh, oh, God. Testing one, two, three. I don't usually have to talk in this many voices. Yeah. Ugh, this is sour. It's an idea I had for a new com combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all times as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. I love this cane. No big deal. That cane is beautiful. I want that cane. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. <laughs> They've got two more whole days to get to know each other. I like that disgusted face. Yeah... It's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. Is this, should this be one long video? We're we, not going to finish it today. Should we cut it every day? Like, game day? Yeah, probably. Alright. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? <laughs> You've got oh. a moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use my mm. white it's some... brick. <laughs> <laughs> it's something my great grandmother taught me. White, white brick. brick. Wow. You never had guessed that. In fact, you're mm. not even sure where you'd get some if you search. <laughs> We ever make merchandise can we just make a plush that's white, white brick, brick. <laughs> yes while you're wrapped up in that huge revelation 
you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's... Oh, it's you again! Howdy! Ooh. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Sometimes, I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. This music is good. It is. It sounds like you have very big plans. I didn't mean to say very. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Is he tearing up? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he just says ocean blue eyes. Mm -mm. Oh wait, maybe he yeah. Alone, alone together for the first time. You figured now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Okay, so which one? Should we neg him to show our own strength? Wow him with such a with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up or be modest and powerful? I don't think we should go with the hard to get approach because Colonel doesn't really seem to like that. Yeah. And he probably wouldn't like us tempering with his ingredients. Yeah. And it seems like he likes to be the top, you know? Because that's what he's going for. So maybe we should be modest but top. Yeah. But we also want to lose. That's true. Maybe. Maybe. Like, I it's... think this is just the good compromise option. I guess. So let's go with it. You know, about that, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it as a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. This is Riken. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Yeah. You decide to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Improve it? You want me to change my secret recipe? And you think you can do better? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> that sounded oh, kind of like Shrek at the end. Did it? Yeah, it sounded Scottish. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have you ever have you ever heard of habanero peppers? <laughs> heard of them. I attend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, poblano, cayenne. But that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. The recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, white lemons. <laughs> I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. Oh, look at that face. He looks disgusted. <laughs> that clearly didn't... That certainly didn't go as planned. You'd better head back inside. But you wait f wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. Which you definitely are. <laughs> you step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we can just show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? <laughs> you're not, you're not going to blow anything. Great. Except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome students to the cooking arena. That, that's not what it is. It's a stitch voice. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off, girlfriend. Naturally. Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. God damn. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> Wanna be my partner? Sure, White Lemons, I'll prepare our station. Oh, looks like you got over that thing. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Beep boop. Bzz. Oh my! Two potential partners? I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. <sighs> Looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Uh, should, should it be Clank? I think Clank's, yeah. Clank's the better option here. Because Pop, if I'm Pop, I'm always forever alone. So, Clank. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's, it's okay. Er, it's okay. I already ate. Ugh. So I was drinking water. It's really hard to talk a lot and also sing uh, without drinking water. It's, yeah. it's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll <laughs> back and forth. 
<laughs> warp, warp, warp. <laughs> Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Wait, how do these things contort? Those aren't... Uh, can we try to get with Clank? No, I don't think we can. Tissue... Er, tissue, I hardly know you. Ah! <laughs> oh man, I was I was watching a meme compilation, right? And one of them was like, I don't even remember the joke. Um, anyway, it was it was like one of those jokes, like, uh, I don't. There was it was a fruit. He said a fruit. He was like, I hardly knew her. Anyway, enough about me. Let's talk about the consistency of orange juice. <laughs> and I died laughing. It was great. <laughs> Clank judges, and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Looks, <laughs> looks like <laughs> you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. Steps. No chef on is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. Well, no, it doesn't. You get the idea. Are you just gonna get longer every time? Yeah. <laughs> also, it doesn't take two flints. It takes a flint and a steel. In Minecraft, you can use two flints in real life. Really? Yeah. I thought you'd use metal. You don't need to. I always thought you had to use metal. Like even like those little, because obviously the metal would cost more than flint, right? Mm -hmm. So, but in in flint and steels, it's there's also steel. Yeah. So why wouldn't they just use two flints if it's cheaper? Don't know. Right. Which dis dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Uh, steak tartar, um, octopus, or grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy? I think mashed potatoes and gravy. Ooh. That goes great with chicken. Yeah. And then we can impress him, and then we can add it to the bucket. Yeah. I've always been something. Did you see the flowers? Yeah, I We're did. doing good. <laughs> I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting. I'm not British and comforting. <laughs> Maybe mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And gravy. <laughs> I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Okay, no, honestly, I could drink gravy for every so could meal Pierce. of the day. Pierce has. Mm -hmm. This gravy is so good. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Looks like things are getting, are getting pretty <laughs> fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business. You better keep your fingers off my man, <laughs> Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone call for me? I wasn't ready for this music. <laughs> uh, no, geez, Von Von. While I'm over here crushing Y Lemon's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. I was the deal, remember? Oh. Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. This is intense. This is intense music. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure. Okay, it's not picking up. Uh, oh, howdy there, Ashley. Von Von. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like White Lemons was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur sh sh I almost said chiefs. <laughs> chefs need chefs. a lot of more mentoring. Chefs. 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 I was gonna say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Huh? Doubt it. Don't be rude, Von Von. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to... That voice really hurts. Yeah. Concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was great. Great for cracker. <laughs> <laughs> but Colonel, if you ask me... I might make a better partner of you than, for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. He insulted both of us. She insulted both of us. Look at look, he's mad. Don't you feel deep down that we cast? Con 
complementary shadows. We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just <laughs> makes sense. I didn't know I could get that in gravelly. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Connell, and if you don't watch out. Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask her for some ask for some backup here before things get ugly. <sighs> Turn to Car Colonel Sanders, hunk of hunks in your time of need. Return to Miriam, your your forever bestie who always has your back. Okay. I think we should turn to Colonel Sanders. Honestly, because obviously he's in an awkward situation. But he's already mad at her. Okay, yeah, that just make it awkward for Miriam because she's already awkward enough. Yeah, exactly. I'm here to learn and, and to express myself via my cuisine. Not bicker about prima donnas. What's prima donnas? I have no idea. I have always thought that meant like Barack Obama's wife. That's not her name. I I know. What is her name? Um, Donna Obama. No. Michelle Obama. Michelle. That's Michelle. <laughs> Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? <clears throat> you turn to Colonel Sanders as to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Chander <laughs> Chanders so is me. <laughs> Isn't that right? Sometimes conflicts can actually build character. I wouldn't want you to shy away from a bit of healthy competition with our peers, wide lemons. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is he just that? Is, is he not just? Is he? Wow, is he just that not into you? You'd think a gentleman would defend you in a situation like this. Did you do something to offend him at some point? Yeah. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Don those cute corgis in the shirt, but sturdy, short St but sturdy dad <laughs> stature. You look down at your station and realize that, in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking in on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with oh. plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just... I know just what to do. I forgot his oh. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of nowhere which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed oh. potatoes. The result, look, the result looks spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, but for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Whoa. Can we just appreciate that wink? Can we just appreciate the fact that KFC made this? Oh, man, I forgot about that. I thought this was fan-made for a No, second. this is legit. This is 100% yeah. licensed. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. I'm honestly having feelings for this. <laughs> like, I'm... <laughs> I might be gay for the colonel. <laughs> Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a, with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. <laughs> Von Von, do something, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, Von Von tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, white lemons! We know what we do not waste food in this brume cooking arena! Colonel Sanders, I expected better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'll both be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I? Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Can I has potatoes face? What? what does that even mean? <laughs> Von Von rushes back over a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes gravy. Why is he? Why is it on an axe? <laughs> Can we talk about that? Why is there a hole in his axe? Why does he have octopus? Mashed also, wait, hold on. He's saying it's... Okay, go ahead and read it for a sec. Mashed potatoes with gravy. Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gazed upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe. I spit a lot of everything. That was, yes. 
<laughs> played it on a battle axe blade forged by this my supreme chef ancestors. Okay, so first of all, he says it's a full meal, but it's one dish. Like our mashed potatoes yeah. and gravy. Um, but also it's on an axe. <laughs> You've ign wait no baloney. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will look all up, and you will, and you all will look. Anyway, it is I who will have the first bite, and you will all look on with envy. <laughs> the interrupting right. student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off him, off the axe. He's playing Rhymes oh. of Aether. Caden. There you go. <laughs> Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process, but the result could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. I, uh, think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It killed him. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> What are his eyes? Oh, there's just eyes. Yeah. Everyone, step back! Oh Don't take another bite! When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being sloped up and pops him out. Pop winces in pain for <laughs> just a moment, and is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. It tastes like poison. <laughs> The entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They're as motionless as statues. The music is still very intense. Yeah. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Oh. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Baloney. Um, hello. I just turned into a ghost over here. That's not right. That doesn't sound right. Seeing that you're shaken up by the really annoying student and all of his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry, you had, you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. C Baloney. <laughs> what? Like, for real? Oh, come on. I think the student has a crush on us. I think yeah. that's what's going on. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark, and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing a taste for him. <laughs> I changed the dialogue, but it works better. Colonel Sanders? Yes? Yes, White Lemons? There's something There's something I need to tell you. My voices are all getting mixed up and it's not working. I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony I, I was just tearing up. I was in the moment there for a second. <laughs> Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you. I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I've been walking towards that, or working towards that dream, yeah? Day and night, yo. Never stopping, yo. Never resting, yo. Also, lifting a lot of weights, yo. Like, so many weights, man. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey, no, I... You... Sh shut up, I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story I here. like I like his, uh, comb. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. <laughs> I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him. Or forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 yo. I'm the hero, yo. What the heck? <laughs> the spork monster here to find the hero. 
Um. I, uh, <laughs> I think I left the fridge open door. Later, nerds! <laughs> We will not let Ham come to another student, except for that ghost kid. I kind of dropped the ball on that. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me. I am a monster, see? <coughs> is he rhyme? Is he rhyming on purpose? Perp? Is he rhyming on purpose, or is that just a coincidence? Before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight sequence. <gasps> what will you do? Oh my god. All right, we gotta attack, right? Yeah, we gotta attack. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook, Cook with, with love. love. Cook with love does one damage. It just got real. That attack really upsets Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. It's with hot gravy at you. You take one damage. I don't think there's any point to defending. Yeah. You decide to go on the attack. It worked last time, right? Cook with love. Cork. Cook, Cook with love does one damage. Spork Monster won't forget this. This has some real Undertale vibes. Yeah. Spork Monster is really feeling threatened by your attack. Spork Monster focuses the mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond if we attack you? Or defend? defend? I think we should defend. Yeah. You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation. <laughs> <laughs> you hold your head between your hands and mutter, This is not happening. This is not happening. Spork monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. Spork monster uses utilitensil. You take two damage from the attack. Whoa. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Guess we have to attack, right? Yeah. You decide to go on the attack. Quick love does one damage. Spork monster is using <laughs> cheese sauce on the lawn of the quad. I wonder who's going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork monster prepares for its ultimate attack, rounded edge. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. <gasps> Pot pie power pinch. <laughs> Pot pie power pinch does ten damage. Spork monster is defeated. You saved me. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Finish him. Finish him. No student, no student will ever walk the quad in fear again. The monster messed with the wrong chef. This is this really has some Undertale vibes. You ready your final attack? You'll never survive my student. <laughs> <laughs> student that alone destruction oh. does ten damage. Spock monster is completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks on in awe. You can you continue to surprise me, White Lemons. The defeated monster left behind a special item. Appears to be at first a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Whoa. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it signed it out is Borko. Hmm. Borko. Borko. That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your beetle bu battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders yes. flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tight, tucked in tightly. Good night, my Colonel. <laughs> In your dream, you toge you're together with Colonel Sanders, and for some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> you awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? And this is where we stop. This is where we end episode one. And actually, here's an announcement for you guys. It's been an hour. It's been an hour? This is the perfect series to do hour episodes on. Anyway, we have an announcement. We have a new end card thing. We do? Yeah. Am I gonna have to make that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, new end card. Uh, there's actually end cards now. We're gonna have recommendations or yeah. whatever. Uh, our, we're gonna have the uh, video recommended for you. We're gonna have a subscribe button. Yeah. We're, we're gonna have um, our newest video, and we're gonna have uh, the next episode once that comes out. Yeah. Uh, up of this series. 
I love how I just made that up and now it's happening. Anyway. Yeah, it's happening. Thanks for watching this episode. You got a 10 more seconds. No, we don't because end card. Oh, yeah. No, wait, this can go over the end card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, love you guys. Hope uh, you enjoyed this episode of I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Thank you for I watching. Love you. I love you too.